And we begin at 6 o'clock with an update on breaking news out of Norwood. Crews are on the scene of what has become a deadly ammonia leak. We have learned that the victim is a man in his 50s. The second man was taken to the hospital for treatment, but we want to get right to WBZ's Christina Rex, who's live at the scene. And Christina, we know there were sort of dangerously high levels of that chemical in the building. Yeah, Paula and David, the 911 call came in shortly after 11 o'clock this morning, but still at this hour, it's too dangerous for first responders and investigators to get as close as they need inside. And there are several specialized teams here on scene waiting for that all clear. Now, this ammonia leak we know killed one man and sent another to the hospital. We want to show you some sky eye video now from the scene this evening. You can see the first responders on scene here at 140 Morgan Drive. Now, this is a frozen meat facility inside an industrial park here in Norwood. Investigators say there were two men who are outside contractors working near the ammonia leak. One of them, a man in his 50s, was pronounced dead here on scene. Now, the other victim was taken to Good Samaritan Hospital, then brought to Mass General, where he's now getting specialized treatment. There are several state organizations investigating here, from the district attorney to OSHA to the state fire marshal's office. So far, they say no foul play is suspected, but it's very early, and they don't know how this leak started. Firefighters say it's an incredibly dangerous situation, even for them and for hazmat, so they could be here for several hours. And now the district attorney's office tells us that they're in the process of notifying this victim's family of his unfortunate death here at this facility. They tell us as soon as that process is complete, they plan to release his identity. Of course, we're working to learn as much information as we can. Anything we get, we'll bring to you both on air and online. Live in Norwood, Christina Rex, WBZ News.